So um, when it comes to really feeling the emotional aspects of the color blue, it's also, it draws our attention to um, sometimes the controversy around like the, around there's, there's this dynamic of like the father mother energy within both of us. Um, you know, father can be um, described to some as like the God source. Mother can be described to some as like mother Mary or some type of mothering um, uh, deity. And, and, and really this, this, there's a little bit of a pull. There doesn't need to be, but there, there does tend to be a little bit of a pull there, a little bit of almost a power struggle. And, and I find that blue kind of brings this attention to both. They, it gives them equal, um, equal, like there's, there's this, this drawing of, um, of an image I saw recently of this intertwining of it was the masculine and feminine which i think has a representation here as well um but it has this this beautiful marriage between um you know these supportive colors of blue that were intertwined within each other representing the masculine and feminine and and how just a subtle shift you know you can kind of almost see it's hard to visualize and and excuse me for just t coming for a ride on in my mind of my, my interpretation of this image but it was so beautiful to see the entwining of the masculine feminine just by shifts and changes in the texture and color of the color blue so it was really like a blue portrait but yet there is this constant co-creation occurring within the blue and and um and it just became very relevant to me and very, very dominant that, you know, that's a representation to how there's this sometimes this inner struggle of, of um, the masculine, the feminine, the mother, the father, you know, these, these, what could be considered very, very big archetypes, but yet that they need each other. There's a balance between and, and they really do the co-creation. If you're truly wanting to manifest, to bring something forward in your life, you want to have both elements. You want to be working with both elements simultaneously and learning how to do that. And, and the color blue, I think has that in spades. It, it brings both the mother energy and the father energy into, and, and really helps to propel, um, creation from that space it's the color associated um with problems and and tendencies of, of literally coughing things out but um our throat chakra right it's our throat chakra color and when that's in in alignment or when it's misaligned or when there's something that needs to be spoken um but it's getting literally stuck stuck in your throat like a frog in your throat like it's it's interesting um and then, by the way, I'm a big fan of metaphors. And um, so like, like, like having a frog stuck in your throat, that representation is that there's something from your heart space um, wanting to come forward and be spoken. It needs to come forward and be spoken. Um, and sometimes we have the fear and the judgment and everything that'll get kind of stuck in our throat chakra. So the frog representing the green, the color green, bringing itself up into our throat and it's getting stuck there. So again, just these metaphors and, and the way that humans have language things over the millennia um, is is fascinating. Um, so communicating again, um, and it needs communication needs our true trust and and to make sure that we are crystal clear on our purpose, on our true purpose. And 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 there, you can have a purpose that can be a little bit tunnel visioned. And then you can have a purpose that really expands beyond oneself and really takes in not necessarily the whole world, but it really takes in factors beyond oneself to really bring in a, a divine, a true, a, um, you know, not that, not that having a purpose that is very linear is, is by any stretch of the imagination a, a bad thing. But when we start to really expand our purpose and really in, envelop what potential and what power we have mm. just 
it just keeps going. There's, you know, you know, sky's the limit, so to speak.